Hey, what's going on? This is Marcos. Today I want to show you all the soft boxes I own. This is the stuff I use uh, to light up my videos for this channel, but also for my corporate and commercial work. Okay, so sometimes I'm hired as a one person band or maybe just myself and another person and speed is very important. So soft boxes are great for that. However, for a lot of the stuff I'm doing, I'm actually doing using bigger light sources like six by six frames or eight by eight. Uh, because we're having to light bigger spaces and so you just need more output and more light everywhere uh, but for talking head videos and it's just yourself these are great uh, i actually have a couple here that i'm going to show you so let's start with my favorite one uh, because it's probably what you want to know right what should you buy if you're in the market i know there's a lot of options out there there's a aperture which i don't have here but i've used and those are great uh, but they're pricier than these options right here from Photo Deox, Leofas, Nice Photo, and Newer. Uh, so this is my favorite one, Leofas. The reason I like this one is the technology. It's a pop-out technology. We just pump, 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 pump. Very easy to set up, very easy to break down. And I think it has, uh, you know, of all these technologies, this is the best one. And the reason this is also my favorite is because it's a 48-inch softbox as opposed to the nice photo or the newer, the 32 inch softbox. Um, so generally the bigger the light source, the softer the lighting is. And that's what I'm trying to get through this, the work I do. It's just nice, beautiful, soft lighting. So uh, double diffusion, one in the center, you see here, it has a center diffusion and then the outer diffusion out here. And actually I already put the grid on. Um, I don't know if you can see this. Let me undo it. It's hard to see it here, but it has two layers and it also comes with this other one that's uh, softer or thinner on the, for the outside layer of diffusion. Usually I leave the thicker on because I like the light to struggle and that way you get softer lighting, okay? So to open it, it's just a matter of like pop, 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 pop. In a matter of seconds, you can have this ready to go. This technology is great for speed. So we here, I'll show you what that looks like. And there it is, it's, you're ready to go. You're ready to roll, oh, there it is. And you're ready to go. And now when you need to break down, Actually, I wanna show you something. A lot of people try to put the soft boxes when the light's up here. The best way to do it is take it off and then do it this way. A little pro tip and now you can put it on the light stand. So I've seen a lot of people do it the other way. Okay, so and now to break it apart, you can see there that's the center of diffusion. That way you don't get hot spots in the middle of the soft box. Boom, you press back on this little knob Whoa, press back, press back and lift a little bit. That helps it and lift back, lift, pull back, pull back. Oh, very easy. I love this technology. I think this is the best one. Um, all these soft boxes come with their own bag, which is great, okay? Now, the next one on my list is the nice photo. Sometimes I need something that's smaller. Maybe I'm having to just move faster or I'm going through doors. Sometimes I film in homes and the 48 inch softbox is harder to fit in through the doorways. So for that, I use the nice photo. I always bring these two on my video shoots um, and I always you know, see what the situation calls for. So if I need to light a bigger space, definitely go with this if it's just a small talking head, maybe I might go with this. And it's the same technology, but this one has little buttons, same deal. You just press up and it and it comes open. Same deal, you press, de press down on the button and back. Very easy to set up. This is from Nice Photo 32 inch, also a great option. Okay, now this one that fell back here, this is from Photo Deox, and it's great, 48 inch, but the reason I don't use it, I don't bring it with me on my video shoots, is because of the technology. This is 
the type that you press down and it should stay open. However, when you press down on that thing, sometimes it doesn't want to stay in place. Even when you're flipping the, the little thing in the middle sideways, it's just like it doesn't stay. And I'm having to be there for like five minutes until I finally get it open. That's very frustrating with this kind of technology. Um, let me demonstrate. Uh, what they did do right is a la double layer diffusion. The center layer is much bigger, which props for photo deox. However, in order to open it and close it, I have to take off the diffusion material, which is uh, makes it more time consuming. In theory, it should be faster to open and close, but it actually takes longer. And then especially when it doesn't want to stay open. Let me show you. Okay, anyways, I could be here for like five minutes trying to get it open, which is usually the case. Uh, this happened to me on video shoots. I take it out with me and I'm like struggling there, boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, oh God, I, I gotta set up the whole equipment myself. And I'm struggling with this and the, the, the client is seeing me and it just, it's not a good look. Uh, so after that's happened like once or twice, I never took this softbox with me ever on video shoots. It's part of the reason I, uh, I got these other ones. Uh, I just don't love that technology. It's just, it's not good, you know? It also, you know, it happened one time, I got it open and in the middle, middle of an interview, it, it undid itself and it popped open. And then I had to stop the whole interview while I got it open again. That, that, was, not, that was not a good thing. So this softbox, I don't trust it for video shoots. Uh, that I'm doing out in the field. If I'm doing YouTube videos, I actually have this as my main key source sometimes, but I just leave it open and I just never touch it. I, I just keep it open all the time. So uh, something to look out for with this type of light or technology. Then we have this newer 32 inch. Uh, actually, let me look at the technology behind this one. All right, so this one has the same technology as the Photo Deox. Same thing, you gotta press down and make sure it stays open. Uh, I would caution you against that technology, the pressing down, I don't like it at all. And then secondly, the reason I never, almost never use this newer softbox is because the actual ring on the newer, ugh, again, it didn't want to uh, pop into my Aperture 120D. The, the, just the bowling instrument wouldn't, wouldn't click into place, so it would just fall off. So I could never bring it with me or use it on any video shoots. With, uh, it happened with the Aperture 120D and my Godox 60Y. I didn't want to work with those uh, Bones mount lights. However, recently I got the GBM S300S and it clicked into place. It worked. Uh, I did a review on that light if you want to check it out. Uh, it's what's lighting me up right now. Yeah, there you have it. Uh, hopefully this helps you out in making a decision uh, as to what, what to get. Uh, the photo deox did not come with the grid, which is very important because I almost always leave the grid on on my video shoots. I don't want to have spill. Uh, the Leofus has that, has all the best things or that I look for in the light, which is uh, thick diffusion, the grid, uh, easy to open, secure, right? This is more secure than, than the other one that you pop open. Um, and then plus the size of 48 inch to me is great. Uh, you know, the Aperture 120D can hold that much weight. Also the Godox 60 watt, the GBM S300S has, can hold the 48, eight, 48 inch softbox. So you gotta be, make sure that the light you're using, uh, the yoke can take on that extra weight. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about um, any of the products I mentioned here, please let me know. There'll be links in descriptions if you want to check it out. And that's it. As always, thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.